Sitting on the icon of the seas, we're actually at the uh, Ryan Bean Coffee Shop. Is where we're at. Our amazing Royal Caribbean rep, Kathy, said you got to go to the Ryan Bean because you have this amazing backdrop of the dome behind us. So welcome. If you're new to the channel, I am Walter. Where's Walter Travel? We do our weekly Sunday morning chat for about an hour or so. So we'll answer any questions you have about all things cruising and we'll do our best to try to answer questions about the icon of the seas we've been on here for about 24 hours now it is amazing it is absolutely amazing uh, it's beyond what we expected now hopefully uh the signal is going to work uh, i don't know the uh the wi-fi has been a little spotty on the ship that's what I've been noticing is that the Wi-Fi has been a little bit unstable. It's been a little bit uh, uh, slow. So hopefully it's going to work. Hey everybody, hey Bigger Andrew, how you doing? Uh, Anthony, how you doing? Vinny, how you doing? Uh, we are loving, absolutely loving, uh, uh, we're absolutely loving the icon of the seas. Absolutely loving it. it it's, um, it's way beyond what I expected it to be. You know, looking at the renderings, looking at the drawings, looking at video doesn't do it justice at all you actually have to come on the ship to actually see it now i see that signal's unstable so i don't know if the signal is actually going to work um i'm going to try again over here i see that uh, i see over on youtube it's not working at all but uh, tiktok seems to be working okay but uh no it's not busy right now because there's only I, I really don't know how many people are on the ship but it's certainly not even close to full this is a invite only three night preview and what these previews do, they allow, they do two things. So one, it allows Royal Caribbean to start testing out all the system, start putting some stress onto the system, make sure everything's working. Uh, so when the first guests come on on the 27th, everything's working great. But it, more importantly, it gives us a chance to actually see what this looks like. Um, because it was, uh, it, it's really hard to imagine everything on this ship until you're actually here, like this space right here. This is an absolutely amazing space right behind me just to chill and lay out in all of the Oasis class ships. This is, uh, this, this would be your solarium area. But instead, this is the front of the Aquadome. You know, a, a lot of you folks, like you see the pictures of the Aquadome, the Aqua Theater, and you think, oh, that's all the Aquadome is. Uh, well, no, there's actually this whole space up in front. Folks, like you see the pictures of the Aquadome, the Aqua Theater, and you think, oh, that's all the Aquadome is. Uh, well, no, there's actually this whole space up in front. You folks, like you see the pictures of the Aquadome, the Aqua Theater, and you think, oh, that's all the Aquadome is. Uh, well, no, there's actually this whole space up in front to so explore. So we're going to go, you know, check out the other half of those in a little while. Uh, 580. Oh, you're going on Wonder in one week. Nice. You have an 11 a.m. check-in. Can we arrive earlier? No. No. 11 a.m. is probably pushing it. It's probably going to be more like 11.30 before you get on the ship. So, um, but yeah, so we're on the icon of the seas. We're only going to be here till tomorrow. I'm going to ask Kathy. Maybe she'll let us stay on a few more days because there's no way we can see everything. But the ship is much more impressive than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. I just figured, okay, so it's gonna be another, uh, uh, another Oasis class. Just expand it, but it's not. It's actually basically reimagined, redesigned. I love the new Central Park. I love the Surfside. And of course, the Aquadome up here in the morning is absolutely insane. It is so incredibly gorgeous up here. And hopefully in a little while, our uh, Royal Caribbean reps are in a meeting right now. So hopefully uh, they're gonna come join us in a little bit. To, uh, hang out with us, but she suggested this spot. She's like, oh, Walt, you're going to go live. You've got to be in the Aquadome right there at the Ryan Bean. So that's where we're at. So if you've got questions about Icon, I'll try to answer them. Um, so some of our first impressions so far, the water slides are insane. There's 19 water slides on this ship. So it is basically a water park at sea. Um, they're not being used as much. It's actually quite chilly for Florida and the breezes are blowing and things like that. So there's not a whole lot of people using the water slides at this very moment. Uh, but if it was a lot hotter, yeah, people would be out there. It's absolutely beautiful. The whole water park, everything out there is absolutely beautiful. I like the reimagined Surfside in the back. I think that's a much better use of space um, than the Aqua Theater. It's kind of cool that they moved the Aqua Theater up here. So that basically just created a whole family neighborhood in the back. And it's actually really well redesigned. And I really love the use of the infinite balconies in Central Park. It flattens it all out. And they also uh, even redid the balconies in the Surfside area, which is the boardwalk area on the Oasis class. You know, you have those curved balconies that kind of stick out. Well, they, they cleaned it all up. The lines are much cleaner in there. Uh, of course, the colors are super bright. And you know, when you see the, the, those super bright colors 
on uh, in photos and whatnot, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know about that. It, it looks like it's gonna be a little crazy, but the colors work. It's kind of almost like it's kind of almost like uh, um, oh, like like a Key West, like like a really really bright Key West is what I want to say. You know, a super crazy bright Key West. Um, but the colors work. You know, the colors absolutely work. So, um, so, so you really need to see see it here. And on YouTube, we're going to try this again. I just flipped YouTube back on. Looks like our signal's getting better. So, welcome to the Icon of the Seas YouTube. We're going to try take two. We're sitting in the Aqua Dome, as you can tell. All that glass behind me is absolutely beautiful. The ship is basically doing circles. Um, wait, you're coming on the Icon for your honeymoon. That's awesome. You do not need an American passport to go on a cruise if you're doing a closed loop that starts and ends in the same port. But you're going on a, uh, a honeymoon, holy crap. Um, I will check to see if they have gluten-free crisps. I do not know, but I'm gonna go get a crisp in a little while, absolutely. Um, this is not the solarium. This is the Aqua Dome. So the, uh, the solarium is something that's on the Oasis class. This is actually the front of the Aqua Dome and it is stunning. I like this so much more than, uh, than uh, the solarium on the Oasis class. I mean, number one, it is fully uh, enclosed. <laughs> it's fully enclosed, so it's climate. It's climate control versus just being wide open. Um, but it is, I mean, it is absolutely, absolutely stonk and amazing. Um, have I seen Super Mario? No, uh, well, maybe I have, I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe I've seen Super Mario, maybe I haven't. Um, I haven't seen a picture of him lately to, to remind myself what he looks like. You're going to be on the Icon with your family in April. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Um, how is the Wi-Fi on Icon? So far, it's been a little spotty. Been up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, YouTube is definitely not having it this morning. So uh, TikTok seems to be working, but uh, YouTube is just not having it this morning. So, uh, so the Wi-Fi is kind of up and down, but this is not... <laughs> <laughs> it's the Icon adults only, just the opposite. <laughs> Show you the Aqua Dome. There it is, right there, right behind me. I'm showing it to you right now. The inaugural cruise is next Saturday, uh, the 27th. That'll be the first official cruise. That'll be the one with the uh, paying guests. So, uh, uh, um, yeah, so that'll be the first official. How is the food? So far, we've just had a few things. Uh, the food has been good so far. I think it's, um, it's really good. Uh, what I what I really like is that in the Windjammer they've kind of changed how they're laying out the food and things like that. It kind of look uh, elevated look to it, elevated appearance to the food and all of that. So far the food's been good. We're going to be getting tastings of all the specialty restaurants today, or at least some of the specialty restaurants are going to be running around. Specialty restaurants are not open for the previews, but what they're doing is a tasting, so we're going to get the sample stuff. So, uh, good morning, Chris. How are you? Oh, you're getting on in a few weeks. That is awesome. Uh, no, U.S. passports are not needed if you're doing a closed loop cruise that starts and ends in the same port. If it starts and ends in different ports, yes, you will need a passport. And of course, if you're going to a, uh, uh, over to Europe, you're going to need a passport. And some, like Martinique, I believe, requires a passport to get off the ship. And, so. and if you're not an American, you will need um, your own country's passport to get on the yes, ship. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and oh yeah, I should have said, as always, my wife Rebecca is right off camera, she's always, uh, she's usually here with me. And by the way, if you, uh, if you like what we're doing, please uh, hit that like button, and uh, if you're not subscribed, consider you're subscribing. And of course, if we can help you book your amazing, iconic uh, vacation, reach out where'swaltertravel.com. And of course, there's links in the descriptions and all that good stuff. Uh, yes, I, am I doing Crown Dead? Get this, I'm doing it at 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm going to be one of the last people to do it in the evening. So 10 o'clock at night, the ship is moving over water. I'm going to swing out over. Yeah, I'm doing it tonight at 10 o'clock. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Brandy. Yes, we are sailing right now. Uh, the, the coast of Florida is right there. <laughs> the coast of Florida is right out there. So we're literally, if you go on the cruise mapper right now, you'll see the ship is just doing circles right now. And uh, we're going to go to Coco Cay tomorrow. So you were on the Icon last week. Awesome. This is the... Uh, this is the front of the ship, Stephen. It's not a boat, it's the ship. <laughs> yeah, this is the very front of the ship. This is that big aqua dome that kind of gives it the look of like the beluga whale. Um, how many cruises do we do a year? Any, we used to do maybe two a year. Now we'll do say four to eight, depending on the year at this point. So, uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. There you go. 
what hotspot internet do we see the best in cruise? Oh, I don't know about hotspot internet, but I will say Scarlet Lady, for some reason, on Virgin Voyages, has been some of the best uh, Wi-Fi at sea. And MSC was actually really good uh, Wi-Fi at sea, too. So, casinos on a cruise and things uh, for do for kids. So yeah, there are casinos on the ship, obviously. There's a huge casino on the ship, obviously. Uh, and there are a gazillion things for the kids to do on this ship. I mean, the kids will not be bored on this ship. So good morning. Oh, you're gonna be on March 30th, that is awesome. You just got off yesterday, Matthew. I could see this. Um, the casino, actually, I don't know if the casino's open. I have not been down to the casino to see if it's open. Uh, Duhart says, hello, Rebecca, how about that? Hey, Tam Lamb, how you doing? Uh, yeah, passports, well, now, Katie, yes, yeah, uh, passports are recommended. We always have our passports with us because keep in mind that when you're on a cruise, even in the Caribbean, you are going to other countries. So if something were to happen and you get disembarked in that country, getting back to the United States is going to be a lot easier if you have a passport. So while passports are not required, we always recommend all of our clients get uh, a passport and get travel insurance. Always get travel insurance. You always want to use that. Can you use the wild bands on board? I don't know. Do they have wild bands on this Certainly, ship? Certainly. Uh, I don't know about when it's going to be actual paying passengers, but for this, n the, the yeah, on this one, no. Uh, on the previews, no. I think they're going to have wild, but I, I can't remember. Well, we'll if Kathy Stephanie. shows up, we'll ask Stephanie. Would yeah, we'll ask you? Stephanie, and if if, uh, uh, if our rep shows up, hopefully uh, one or two of our uh, Royal Caribbean reps are going to show up while we're doing the live stream. So, how would you suggest going about booking a cruise for a group of 11 or 14 people? Just reach out to me. That's what we do. Or, or if you work with a travel advisor, uh, that's where a travel advisor comes in real handy. We have we have groups of uh, 150, 30, 38, 24, 26 going out on cruises. In fact, I'm just booking a wedding right now. So yeah, that's where working with a travel advisor, travel agent is really great because that's what we do. We put together groups. We put together, uh, uh, and sometimes we can sometimes we can get specials. Like certain cruise lines will offer discounts for the cabin. Other cruise lines will offer, say, onboard credit uh, or other perks and things like that. So yeah, just reach out. Uh, reach out to us, WhereIsWalterTravel.com, or if you're working with a travel advisor, reach out to them. You know, however you do it. Your mom is on right now. Well, hello, mom. I hope she's there. Uh, make sure to watch. The Wizard of Oz if it's happening. We are scheduled to go at 8.15 tonight. We saw the ice show last night. That was the one and only time we're doing it because... Uh, well, they did it three times. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. But that was the one night they were doing it because uh, they're getting ready for the naming ceremony. The next sailing that starts on the 23rd, Lionel Messi is going to be on the ship and they're going to do the big naming ceremony that's going to be in the ice theater. So we got to see the ice show last night. It was cool. I didn't understand it, but it was really, really cool. It was beautiful. Good morning, Dean. How are you? Um, I've got an echo. Yeah, I bet I do have an echo because uh, there's a second microphone kind of close to me right now. So there you go. It's this one that's, that's working. That one is not because YouTube is dead. So yeah, yeah. So we can turn that off. Actually, you can turn that, that one off if you want to. Uh, I'm going to turn this one off as well. Yeah, we were trying to dual stream to uh, YouTube, but YouTube is not having it this morning. Uh, will Coco K be warmer? Probably not. Probably not. Um, yeah, the YouTube YouTube's not having it, so I tried YouTube. Uh, good morning. Icon came out already. It either did or we're on the wrong ship. <laughs> yeah, this is the Aquadome. We're seeing the Aquadome back here on the uh, icon of the seas and this is the thing this is one of the cool things about coming on the ship we really didn't like realize how much was up in front this is a super cool chill area we're sitting at the ryan bean which is uh coffee and uh, and a bar as well it is amazing have we had the opportunity to tour the sky suites yes they're beautiful oh my god the sunset corner suite wow that's my favorite so far uh sunset corner suite we're going to the ultimate family townhouse today ah. Uh, MB76, you do want to come on this ship. I'm telling you, you do want to come on this ship. You know, before I, before I came on the ship, I was kind of like, okay, so it's a, it's a new and improved Oasis class. It's a lot more. This is a stunning ship. They've done a great job with the layout. Um, you know, the, the reimagined Royal Promenade. The Royal Promenade looks the most like, you know, anything else, but the rest of the ship is absolutely beautiful. 
I, I can't walk around and show you because the signal is, is very unstable. So I'm staying in one place where, uh, you know, I know the signal is going to kind of go in, in and out, but if the, if the phone stays still, but I, I am shooting video, I'm shooting all kinds of content that you're going to see coming out over the next week. So uh, I don't know if Coco Cay is going to be uh, any warmer. Uh, we are right off the coast of Florida. If you have Cruise Mapper, you can take a look. This is a preview cruise, so it's essentially a cruise to nowhere, but we're going to Coco Cay because legally we have to. Um, but uh, if you look at Cruise Mapper, you'll see the ship is just doing circles. In fact, they were doing filming just a little while ago. We had a helicopter flying out for about 90 minutes. We are on the icon of the sea. Uh, Nate, this is very similar in size to the Wonder. It's slightly longer. Um, and the width is basically the same, but what they did, they kind of squared it up so it doesn't have like, the, you know, those uh, circles hanging out on top. But there are photos out there right now of the Wonder and the Icon sitting side by side in Coco Cay, and you'll see. Very similar size, but what is really different is when you get to the back where the Aqua Theater is on the, uh, on the Oasis class, that is now Surfside, and since there's no Aqua Theater, it squares up a little bit more and there's more cabins back there. So now you have a, a nice selection of aft cabins looking out over the wake. Beautiful suite back there. So, uh, thank you, uh, Will SC. I'm actually having a hard time seeing it because it's so bright. Uh, but hi guys. Hey, Chuck and Mary, how are you? Our travel agents, the only people out on it for preview. Uh, we got media on here. We've got, guys, hey, Chuck and Mary, how are you? Our travel agents, the only people out on it for preview. Uh, we got media on here. We've got. Uh, Hi, hey, Chuck and Mary, how are you? Our travel agents, the only people out on it for preview. Uh, we got media on here. We've got. Uh, we did ask. We did ask our rep if uh, if she could come down. So hopefully she's going to come around uh, at some point. So I don't know. So she may show up. She may not. When well, is the it's, cheapest it's, time? What? We're good. It says. Um, Rover is not available for uh, scheduled meet and greets. No, if you're in a if you're in a star class suite, that's the very top, the very top of the royal suite, you can actually set a play date with Rover. So hey, book a book a star class suite, and you can set a play date with Rover. That would be fun, right? Um, I did ask uh, I did ask Kathy if she could bring Rover by. I don't know. We'll see whether Rover can come by. Uh, your mom's on here. That's awesome. Yes, uh, YouTube died. YouTube is just not happening today. It was so unhappy. So, um, who is the godmother? It's a godfather. It's Lionel Messi from the Miami, what's the name of the Miami football team? Uh, and football team. Not, not football, the football team. Uh, it's Lionel Messi. It's the godfather. So, you're coming on February 15th. I'm telling you people, if you are coming on this ship, you're going to be blown away. You are absolutely going to be blown away. Um, oh, is that some music going on? So, uh, we're in the Aqua Dome. The Aqua Theater is uh, actually doing some rehearsals right now. He's live um, So, uh, you're going to hear some music kind of coming on and off. So, oh, you're coming on the 27th, Stacy. So, you're going to see so many people. Uh, ben and David are going to be on there. Uh, uh, Stephanie's going to be on there. Every vlogger is going to be on. You're going to have some fun. Uh, what happened to YouTube? It died. It, it just wasn't happening. We tried. I've got two phones set up. And we tried streaming to YouTube and it just wasn't happening. Sorry. Uh, wow, you're doing a bunch of cruises there. Carnival Spirit followed by the Celebrity Beyond. Oh my God. So uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. And then the Vista and the Valiant Lady. Uh, and I saw the Vista just went in for her uh, dry dock. Thank God, because she was not looking very good from the outside. So she needed a paint job. Um, but the Celebrity Beyond, there are a lot. We see a lot of celebrities in this ship. Uh, more sophistication, cleaner lines. Um, yeah, they're, they're, really, they're really drawing from their sister celebrity in the Icon class, and it's lovely. It really is. I'm doing Crown's Edge at 10 p.m. tonight. I'm going to be swinging out over the ship while we're out at sea at 10 p.m. tonight. So, uh, Carnival versus Royal, differences in the two. Royal puts a heck of a lot more money into their ship and into their shows. Um, yeah, that's it in a nutshell right there. Uh, Royal Caribbean invests, I think, a lot more into their ships and their shows, and that's why there's a cost difference, really. When you come on the ship, you see all the technology. You see everything that they do on the ship. Even our cabin, holy cow. Best bathroom, I think, ever in a standard uh, 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 cabin. There was so much room in the shower. It was a lot of room in the shower, so that was really, really nice. Carnival is a great cruise line. They're a lot of fun. The Fun Squad, awesome. 
But I think, you know, that's just really the big, biggest difference. Uh, I think the food quality tends to be a little bit better on, uh, on uh, Royal Caribbean. Uh, but I do love, you know, I love my shack chicken on Carnival. I love Street Eats on Carnival. And I love the Fun Squad. They're awesome. So they're both great. It, it's hard to, um, it, it, it's really hard to, like, pick one over the other, to be honest with you. They're both good cruise lines. We're only here for three nights, Stephen. Uh, uh, the music in the ice show was all, yeah, I thought the ice show was a lot of fun. I didn't understand it, but I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, going on Sun Princess this summer. We are going on in October. Uh, you can't wait to sail in October. That's awesome. Yes, folks. Uh, Tatiana, this is the icon of the seas. Welcome, folks. We're sitting in the Aquadome. The Aqua Theater is right next to us, so the main Aqua Theater where they do the water show, this is in front of the Aqua Theater. This is the very, very front of the ship. So when you see that big dome on the front of the ship, that's where we're sitting. Uh, right, we're sitting at the Rye and Bean right now. So it's a coffee shop and bar. Our, uh, our Royal Caribbean rep said that's where you want to do the live stream, and that, that's where we are. So uh, we'll be back on Tuesday. Good morning, good morning. We are actually in an Ocean View balcony, like a regular balcony. I was actually kind of hoping we were going to have an infinite balcony because I wanted to see it, but we did. Uh, we are touring 21 different staterooms, and I'm shooting video on all of them. Yes, we're going to edit them. Of course, I did that quick video showing you the pictures of all 28 categories. Well, now I'm going to try to try to uh, do some of that. So, uh, what? Uh, for dinner last night, we just went to the buffet. It was nice. Can we even feel the wave? Well, not now, because I, I don't know how slow we're going. We're going incredibly slow right now. Uh, again, if you go look at Cruise Mapper, we're just doing circles. So, um, so is this the new one? This is the new one. This is the Icon of the Seas. This is a brand new ship, uh, the first of the Icon class. Next year, we will have the Star of the Seas sailing from Port Canaveral. In 2026, we will have Icon 3. We don't have a name for Icon 3 yet, but Icon 3, I'll be curious to see if that one goes to Galveston. I, I, my guess would be either Galveston or Europe, one or the other. It'll be very interesting to see where it's going to be. Um, there's actually, there, there's good enough internet to work, but it's just a little spotty right now. So, uh, but definitely, you know, well, when, you, when, you, when you're trying to live stream, that means I'm depending on the signal going up, and the signal going up is always slower. But the signal coming down, it's actually not bad. I, uh, I, I was working last night on the laptop. I'm sorry, Rebecca, you were going to say something. I said there also are probably a lot of people using the Internet because it's media and travel agencies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so uh, you're on the cruise. Uh, I understand it holds about 6,000 passengers. Do you feel it? Do you feel crowded? So there, there are not 6,000 passengers on here. Uh, Double occupancy is about 5,500. Absolutely full is around 7,200-ish, something like that. So, so right now, obviously, I would guess maybe there's 2,000 people on here. I don't know. I think there might be a little here. more than that. Yeah, it might be a little bit. They're probably increasing the capacity as they get closer to the uh, to the uh, 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 inaugural, which is going to be this coming Saturday. There's one more preview after this, so we're off on the 23rd. 23rd to the 26th, it will be one more preview, and then she sails for real on the 27th. So, hey, hello, Syracuse. That's where I went to college. <laughs> hello, Syracuse. I know all about Syracuse. Nurse Tara, hello, hello. This makes you want to go on a cruise, right? Right? This is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. And, and what's really cool on this ship, there are so many nooks and crannies. They've added so much more casual seating in here. Um, a lot of people are kind of concentrating on, well, this cost that, this cost that. The ship has been reimagined, and there are so many places just to sit, relax, and enjoy. So, um, is the food good? So far, the food is really, really good. Um, it's Good. Well, I mean, it, it, it yeah, it, it, it's good for Royal It's not Caribbean. great. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it is, it's your standard uh, family cruise fare, basically, but it's a little bit better. Um, so, and and no, Walter, we'll get to your questions eventually, so. Yeah, I mean, if you folks are trying to ask me the same question, you know, ten times, just give me time, because as you can see, I try to answer the question, so I'll get there. And I know the Internet's going to kind of come in and out, so. Um, it's going amazing on the icon. Yes, and it, just keep in mind the internet could be choppy because this is uh, relying on the uh, the up, upload speeds, which are always going to be a little bit slower. So I'm trying. Hey, what do I know about the key? Um, I haven't found the key to the ship yet, but when I get it, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so the key is a is a program where you can essentially buy 
uh, uh, buy some perks that usually go to like uh, suite members where you can get on the ship earlier. You'll get a uh, special lunch in the main dining room. You get scheduled time at some of the venues. Uh, and you get internet included. And so what Rebecca does, now, and it's a limited program, it's not unlimited, so when they sell out, they sell out um, for every sailing. So what Rebecca does is she kind of keeps an eye on the price of the Wi-Fi, and if the price of the Wi-Fi and the price of the key get somewhat close, then she'll go ahead and get the key. Because, you know, coming on the ship early, it's kind of nice. You know, you get that priority boarding. That's my favorite part. Well, that and being able to drop your luggage off yeah. first thing. Yeah, so when you come on, you can actually drop, like, like if you're bringing on carry-on, you can just drop your stuff off, and then you can just go explore the ship until your room is open. That is, yeah, those are the two best perks. One, you come on early, two, you can drop off your bag and go enjoy the ship. Um, I was underwhelmed by the lunch. Uh, it's supposed to be a chopped grill lunch in the main dining room. It was okay. I would skip that and I would go to Park Cafe and get lunch there. It's absolutely lovely. So, so Rover is the dog. Rover is the dog. No solarium on the icon. This is the Aquadome up here in the front. You're going to be on next weekend. Yay, January 27th. Nice. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not free. No, just like any other cruise line, the Wi-Fi, well, except for Virgin Voyages, um, but the Wi-Fi. And some of the luxury lines. Yeah, some of the luxury lines. But no, so the Wi-Fi, you can use the Wi-Fi for free to use the app, obviously, and there is a chat feature in the app, so you can communicate with each other without buying the internet package, but if you want to actually get on the internet, then you have to get the boom package. If you're coming on in September, that's awesome. Keegan, you're going on the Symphony in March. We went on the Symphony last December. Great ship. Great ship. Uh, a lot year of fun. ago, December. Yeah, a year ago. Uh, we had so much fun on that ship. You should enjoy that. Uh, how is it compared to the Symphony? The Symphony, so, so the Oasis class and the Icon are similar in that there are some of the same features. Um, but I would say that the flow, getting around the ship, is, is much nicer. Uh, it's a little bit more sophisticated on the Icon of the Seas. Again, um, uh, I think they're drawing from Celebrity. They're drawing from from their sister line a little bit. A little bit more sophistication. The lines are cleaner. Uh, the layouts are cleaner. I really love the reimagined Central Park and then what was the boardwalk now Surfside. I think they've done a fabulous job with that. The promenade is gorgeous. Obviously, Aquadome, I mean, you, you can't imagine until you see this. And, the, and the, one, the one thing you noted about um, the Surfside neighborhood is unlike the boardwalk, it's not noisy at night. Oh, that's a great point, Rebecca. So uh, we were, we've always been warning our clients, you know, look, if you stay in the boardwalk section, the Aqua Theater show is going to run to like 11, 1130. Playmakers is out there, so you know, like the playoffs are going on right now. So people are going to be out there. There's going to be huge crowds out there watching playoffs. So boardwalk can be really noisy. Surfside is not because Playmakers is not there. The Aqua Theater is not there. So at night, it's actually quiet. So you can stay in Surfside or you can stay in Central Park. Now in Central Park, they have a new jazz club. Now the doors do stay closed, but there is an open section. So Central Park is actually noisier than Surfside at night, only in the sense that there's a jazz club going on at night. And it's great. Oh my God, Lou's, it's called Lou's. Great jazz club. The, the music venues on this ship are amazing. You got dueling pianos, you got Lou's, boleros with Jim and last night, jazz club. The, the music venues on this ship are amazing. You got dueling pianos, you got Lou's, boleros with Jim and last night. So there's four of them. There's four different previews. We are on the third of four previews. The 23rd through the 26th will be the last one, and then she sailed for real. So, um, Crown's Edge, I heard, I, I, I'm going to find out for sure tonight, but I believe I heard them say it's $39 on a court day and $79 or $89 when you're out at sea, something like that. I'll find out tonight. I'm doing it at 10 o'clock tonight, so we will not be, well, maybe we'll try to go live. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yes, the first sailing date is on the 27th, so. Um, the food is the food. Look, so the food is these, and and plus, here's the thing about food. It's all subjective. So some people love food. Some people, you know. So uh, it, it's it's. I think it's elevated for Royal Caribbean. Definitely. Um, your company did all the plants behind you. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and there I've been noticing a lot of vendors like. Your company did all the plants behind you. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and there I've been noticing a lot of vendors like, oh, it's really hard to compare Disney with Royal Caribbean, except that they're both family cruise lines, and they're going to offer you similar but quite different experiences. So, 
Yeah, I hope I, it, it's 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 kind of a wishy-washy answer, but really, it's that that's one of the things that we do as a travel advisor. We listen to you and and try to figure out what do you need, you know, what's going to be the best vacation for you, and then we line you up with the cruise line and the ship that work the best for you. You know, so it's never going to be the same same for everybody. How many water slides? There are 19 on on this ship. Uh, I just answered a question about the key. So, um, oh, that was the same person. Oh, was that same person? I'm so sorry. Uh, yes, this this cruise is a preview for travel agents, media, and uh, uh, invited guests. So, where are we going? In circles, literally. Uh, if you watch, uh, if you go on to uh, Cruise Mapper, you'll see the ship is literally going around in circles. The uh, first passengers will be here on Saturday. We're on a three-day. Uh, well, the age range of the passengers, I mean, they're going to be from uh, uh, 1 to 101 uh, when the ship starts sailing for real. So, I mean, this is a family ship. If you're looking for a ship that's going to appeal to every, and I mean literally everybody in your family, you got sports fans, you got music fans, you got, you know, the kids that want to do everything under the sun, you got people that just look, I don't want to do anything except sit in a chair and relax and read. Boom, there you go. This ship literally appeals to everybody. So you can come on here with 50 people with 30 different lights and everybody will go off and do their own thing and maybe come together for, for dinner. So uh, where are we sailing right now? We are literally right off the coast of Florida. So we're just kind of doing lazy circles and then we're gonna go to Cake, uh, Coco Cay tomorrow. So um, dis disembarking on big ship, really hasn't been a problem uh, except on MSC. MSC was a little bit of a cluster but that was partially because we came into port seven hours late. So that that will kind of happen but you know they have the system down pretty good you know everybody goes off in their uh, at their scheduled time and it usually works out pretty well. Uh, are there adults only pools? Absolutely uh, on the very back of the ship so we have the hideaway. So there are uh, big hot tubs on the port side of the ship on the back and then right in the center you have that really awesome infinity pool that's just kind of suspended between the two sides of the ship so that is all 18 plus back there so yeah there, there's a whole there's a whole uh, section back there so cruise tour yeah there will be uh there will be tours of the ship uh, a little bit later you know i've got to be uh i, I i've got i'm shooting all kinds of content so at some point i'm going to be able to edit and right now, um, we're just we're just getting as much information as we can. This is the view right now. I'm not moving the phone because if I move the phone, the connection's going to be even worse. So the phone is just staying right there. So uh, don't think they'll try to compete with an icon class in New York. They might. Who knows? But I don't know. Uh, do they even have an Oasis class that goes up there? I'm trying to remember. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Out of Bayonne. Yeah. So maybe they will, who knows? I don't know. Uh, this cruise is not, is not crowded uh, because there's, uh, there's um, uh, 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 invited guests only, so it's not full. Uh, is it worth it? That's totally up to you. Um, you know, now that I'm on here, you know, without coming on the ship, I'd be like, wow, that's, that's kind of an expensive ship. But now that we're on here, you know what? They, 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 brought, they brought their game to this ship. It, there is a lot going on on this ship. You will not be, if you're bored, it, it's because of you, really. Um, yeah, this is a spectacular ship. So if this is the vacation that suits what you're looking for, it's absolutely worth it. Um, if, it's, if it's not, there are, what, Royal Caribbean has 26 ships or something like that alone. And then everybody else, I mean, there's 325 cruise ships out there. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, what specialty dining? So we can't, we're only gonna get the taste. So, but I really wanna taste the uh, Supper Club. I wanna see what the Empire Supper Club is bringing. Um, and uh, of course, I love Hook Seafood. The new Hook Seafood looks beautiful. I love how they reimagined that. It looks like a beautiful space. Shop Grill looks great. The music that you're hearing in the background is the uh, Aqua Theater doing a rehearsal. The weather's chilly for Florida. Plattsburgh, how you doing, Plattsburgh? You're thinking of booking. I'll tell you what. If this matches your, uh, if this matches your uh, vacation style and, and your needs, this is a hell of a vacation. It really is. It's going to be a hell of a vacation. The walking tour is coming on video later. Uh, yeah, it does look like a green screen, but that is the big aqua dome behind us. Miami, four inches of snow in, uh, in Utah. The, the ship launched from Miami, by the way. Four inches of snow in Utah. 
Yes, I think we have it better right here. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Walter from Where's Walter Travel. We're an independent travel advisor. As always, my wife, Rebecca, is sitting right next to me off camera. We may have some guests from Royal Caribbean stopping by, but we are on the all new Icon of the Sea. Brand new, first of its class. She sails officially on Saturday. We are invited guests for three nights. So we've already been on here for one night. We got two left and then we'll be going home on the 23rd. So, good morning, good morning. Excited for Icon to release their lounge. Oh, you're getting married on Icon, yay! That is awesome. How's the pizza? I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna give it another shot. Uh, did I post something about onboard credit for Royal Caribbean? Would they apply to Icon? Uh, I haven't looked to see if the Icon has them, but yeah, the Royal Caribbean is offering tons of, uh, on board credit right now, up to $600. I think $600 for a junior suite and $400 for a balcony. But I don't know if that applies to the icon booking. Um, I'd have to look. Uh, just reach out, Douglas. I'll be happy. Uh, I'm not going to show the spa right now because I'm not moving. We're just sitting here having a, a lovely time talking to you all. How's it? Are we on the cruise right now? Yes. <laughs> this is not green screen. This is actually us sitting on the icon of the seas. Uh, we are somewhere off the coast of Florida doing lazy circles right now. And then we're going to go to Coco Cay tomorrow. Embarkation is uh, Miami. I don't know how much the Wi-Fi is these days. Uh, and it varies, would, to be honest with you. I would imagine, you. yeah, it does vary depending on sailing, depending on ship. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much it is these days, to be honest with you. Uh, what's the best way to get deals? Oh, you're going to be here for Christmas. The best way to get deals for cruises just work. I don't know how much it is these days, to be honest with you. Uh, what's the best way to get deals? Oh, you're going to be here for Christmas. The best way to get deals for cruises just work Pfizer. Our prices are exactly what the cruise lines charge. Sometimes we can add extra perks. But the big thing that we can do is we can go in on most cruise lines, uh, definitely on Royal Caribbean, we can go in and if your cabin goes down by $20, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to adjust your rate. So that, that's a couple of copies. At least before final payment. Yeah, uh, before final payment. Once you hit final payment, your price is locked. Uh, you, you were on Harmony in March. Great ship. Absolutely a great ship. Where are we right now? Almost within swimming distance of the Florida shore. <laughs> are there shady areas by the pool? Not much. Not much. Yeah, it's a lot of sun out there. I haven't really noticed much in the way of shade. I mean, they are sun decks. So yeah, I'll take a look. See, see. Um, how much did it cost? If you're talking about this particular cruise, everybody on here is an invited guest. So for three days. So there was no cost to come on this particular sailing. Uh, for all, all four of the previous sailings, there's no cost because this is media, this is travel agents, and this is invited guests. You're going to be on the Icon next Saturday. You're packing now. I'm telling you. Oh my God. Oh, check the weather forecast because it's actually chilly in Florida, but you're going to be going into the Caribbean. So uh, we're, we're not going into the Caribbean. We're just hanging out in Florida. Bring your walking shoes, please. Bring your walking shoes. You're going to be doing a lot of walking, a lot of walking. So, uh, thoughts on Anthem of the Seas? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Anthem is a quantum class, I believe. So bumper car... No, Anthem is... Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Anthem yeah, is yeah. a quantum class. So you got bumper cars, you got skydiving, you got, uh, uh, um, what else is on there? No ice skating on that one. Uh, I think you got roller skating on there and all kinds of stuff. And of course, they got them really big. They did a huge playmakers on that particular class of ships. I think they're awesome. Uh, can you take a power strip? You're gonna have to look at the FAQs because some cruise lines are now allowing you to bring on a, a, actually an extension cord and a power strip because of all the CPAP machine. Uh, but the power strip would have to be non-surge protected. Yeah, non-surge protected. So go to the FAQ prohibited items uh, of any cruise line and it'll tell you right in there. Yeah. Uh, good morning, good morning. Did I see the piano player in the elevator yet? I don't know if they're on, are they on this ship? I don't know if they're on this ship. I hope they are. It'll be awesome. Sorrento is crispy. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. Yeah, I don't know if they're on. Are they on this ship? I don't know if they're on this ship. I hope they are. It'll be awesome. Sorrento is crispy. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. Well, go try some of the other cruise lines and see what's included, what's not included, what's the experience like. When you come on the Icon of the Seas, you can see what you're paying for. This ship 
is amazing. There's so much technology. There's so much to do. There are so many crew on here. Um, even the layout of the wind jammer is so much better. I really like the, the split layout of the wind jammer. They did a nice job. So there is a reason why you pay for certain things. And yeah, maybe in the past they were like, hey, we're gonna give you this thing. But now, in order to maintain that quality, in order to maintain the service, in order to maintain whatever, we're gonna have to start adding some fees in. So. So yeah, that, that's kind of true of all business, so. And, um, and um, yes, uh, Lil Huddy is my dad. Um, this is not pre-recorded, he is live. Oh yeah, I'm live, I'm live, yeah. You're on February 24th, yay! Uh, Abby, the restaurants are not open. We're gonna get tasting today. They open at 12, so that's why we're gonna stop uh, this at 12. Oh, one, okay, so we don't have to stop it at 12. Uh, but the room's open at, no, no, the tasting starts at 12. And the room's open at 1. Am I wrong? Okay, Rebecca's shaking her head. Tastings at 1. Okay, so the tastings are definitely at 1. Okay. And oh, the rooms let's at see this. 1. Too. So our tastings, we're going to get the taste. Chops Grill, Empire Supper Club, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, Hook Seafood, Izumi, and uh, Pier 7. So we're going to be able to taste all of those from 1 to 3 today. And he is answering questions. It just takes him a uh, while yeah, to get to look, things. There's, there's literally over 100 questions So right not pre-recorded. Trust nah, me. recorded How far ahead should you book your cruise? Literally the moment that you know that you want to go on a cruise. Because again, if you work with a travel advisor like myself on most cruise lines, if the price goes down, we can adjust it for you. So oh, as soon here. as you know you want to go, what? Tells you the yeah. date. See, he's live. What? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> if they don't think I'm live, that's fine. Go watch something else, but we're live. So yeah, how much was it? Again, this, this cruise, everybody was invited. Um, yeah, it looks like a green screen, but it is not. Are there things to do with your three-year-old? Yes, actually, you know, that's part of that whole Surfside thing, right? There's a whole splash pad back there. They've got, what is it for the young ones? Club Ocean? Club uh, Adventure? Adventure something. Yeah. So there are the kids clubs on here, and um, they have babysitting services. You, there is a fee that's included. And you, they even have babysitting services at night. If you'd like to go out and have a nice dinner with your, your significant other, you can go out and have dinner, and they'll watch the kids for you. So. Um, no, we didn't pay for this. This is invited guests. So this is media, travel agents, and invited guests only for all four previews on here. So we can see this ship. I mean, there, it, it's very important for us as travel advisors to get on as many ships as we can. So when we're talking to you, like, I didn't realize just how stunning and how much space there was up here. I didn't know how much seating there is throughout the ship. And just, there's a lot of things about this ship that I, I can now talk uh, uh, edu in, in an educated way to my clients and, and explain the differences between this, between the Oasis class. We love the Voyager class, so we love a and, lot of different ships. And just as far as kids go, um, there is a specific baby splash area that is designed for children who are still in diapers. I love that. So swim diapers are not allowed in the, or pull-ups are not allowed in the um, pools, whirlpools, or H2O zone, but there is a specific baby splash area for those children. That's cool. That's cool. I love it. I love it. Best advice for a first-time cruiser, seriously, work with a travel advisor. The ships are confusing. The different cruise lines are confusing. What's included, what's not included. How do you compare apple to apples? It's very, they make it very confusing on purpose. Work with a travel advisor, whether it's me or someone else, to help you find the right ship. Because the most important thing about your first cruise, you got to get on the right ship, the right itinerary. Uh, interior instead of a stateroom. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what the other part of that was, but um, the interior. Oh, they've got a they've got a new interior class on here called the spacious interior. It's a square room. We saw it yesterday. Nice, really, really nice. And if you weren't here at the beginning, the bathroom, probably the best bathroom in a standard stateroom ever. There's room in the shower. There's a bench in the shower. There's a bench in every single shower. The shower's a little bit longer, a little bit wider. It is fabulous for a standard stateroom. You're going to love the bathrooms on here. Sailing on Symphony in August, how is that? Well, it's a ship. First time sailing with Royal, you're usually on Norwegian. So Symphony of the Seas is an Oasis-class ship. It's gonna be quite a bit different uh, than in, uh, Norwegian, only from a sense that the ship is over about 200 feet wide. Very, very wide ship, just like this one. There's a lot more room. Um, what, what you might be surprised with is that uh, when you first come on, the ship is gonna be incredibly crowded because everybody walks on and they stop in the Royal Promenade. So the Royal Promenade gets flooded. But then once the ship gets going, 
people spread out, they move out and about, even at night, now that there's parties going on in the Royal Promenade, it's gonna get crowded, but I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how much the ship spreads people out, and I think you're gonna flat out love Central Park. Central Park is a beautiful place to hang out, so. Uh, oh, and try the, try the uh, specialty. Specialty uh, dining, especially if, I don't know if Hook Seafood is on there. Hook Seafood is amazing. Uh, this ship uh, sails out of Miami. Um, yeah, this is not pre-recorded, so can you use the wild bands on the icon? You know, if, uh, if Kathy shows up, well, ask her. I think you can, so. Um, 4,000 people on Icon. They, actually, Icon hold about 5,500. Um, uh, about 5,500 um, at uh, double occupancy and uh, about 7,500, 100% full. So um, at uh, double occupancy and uh, about 7,500, 100% full. So uh, Princess Cruises, you can do a lot of relaxation. So that's the thing about cruising. There are different ships and different styles for everybody, and that's why it's so important to work with a travel advisor so you get on the right ship. This, is, this might be too much for you. There is, there is a lot that goes on, but as you can tell right now, uh, it's, you say that the ship has no quiet. It's almost noontime here, and we're just sitting here, and it's extremely quiet. So yeah, it, yeah, there are there are quiet places. You sail on Thursday, Adventure of the Seas, great. Oh, I love the Voyager class. First time cruiser, and you booked on the Icon this May. Oh my God, this is going to be an amazing ship for you to go on your first cruise. Um, do they have Torrentos? Yes, they have. They have a big Torrentos. I have not tried it yet. Uh, the Icon is sold out until 2026. No, no, not even close. What is I think sold certain out, cabins, maybe. Yeah, what is sold out? The Ultimate Family Townhouse is sold out for 2024. So if you want that, oh, not even close. What is I think sold certain out, cabins, maybe. Yeah, what is sold out? The Ultimate Family Townhouse is sold out for 2024. So if you want that, February. Uh, Wi-Fi is, is okay. Yes, we are on the Icon of the Seas. It's recently got off an Anthem. Yes, we're on the Icon of the Seas. This is our second, this is actually our first, first full day on the ship. Right. We are literally doing lazy circles right off the coast of Florida. If you go on Cruise Mapper, you're going to see. And then we're going to go to Coco Cay tomorrow. Um, let's see. This is the Icon of the Seas. This is day two. It's only three days. Who is the cruise director? What is his name? Mike? Mike? Mark? He's pretty good. Yeah, pretty Mike good. or Mark. I can't remember. Yeah, and if Kathy shows up, she'll tell us. Uh, yes, toddler play areas, absolutely. No, this is not the dining area. This is the Aqua Dome. Uh, we're in the Aqua Dome. If you've seen the ship, you see that big glass dome on the front. That's where I'm sitting right now. I'm actually Although sitting there, at the Ryan Bean. There is dining in this area. Oh, yeah. So uh, one of the new places, the Aqua Dome Market. Uh, like five food stalls in there. You got mac and cheese. You got a feta station. You got a crepe station. I don't remember what the other two stations. Oh, a salad station. And one more. Right here in the Aqua Dome Market. Highly recommend it. Really, really good. Um, you come on up to the Aqua Dome. And that's the thing about the Aquadome, like a lot of people may come up here and then you stop because you see the Aqua Theater, you don't realize that there's more in here. So the Aquadome Market is to the right and then you come all the way in the front of the theater and that's where all of this is. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is the Icon of the Seas, folks. Um, came in late. What's being charged now than in the past? I don't know everything offhand uh, that is being charged that wasn't in the past. Uh, most, of, most of the activities here on the ship are included. There are a few things like the Crown's Edge that you do have to pay for. But um, yeah, I, I don't know off the top of my head. Is smoking still allowed? You have a specific smoking section. So and it right doesn't now, matter whether it's, it's 11.15 uh, in the or, morning. Or vaping. Uh, Here she is. Hi, Kathy. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Hey, you want to pull up a chair? Here, yes. here take, take my chair. Okay. Hold on, folks. I'm going to get Kathy all set up. All right. So you go there. I'll okay. move the uh, I'll move this a little bit so I can get in here. So we tried we tried uh, YouTube and TikTok, but the uh, oh, did you give her the microphone? Oh, it's right here. There it is. <laughs> there, you can clip it to yourself, or you can okay. leave it right there. So, folks, this is Kathy, my representative from uh, Royal Caribbean. You are totally awesome. First of all, thank you. So uh, here, yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. So. 
favorite place on the icon of the seas? Uh, there's so many. Yeah. I'm actually thinking that this one right here, because I, of course this beautiful scenery behind us, yes. this structure is five stories tall. It's massive. Like it's an engineering marvel. <laughs> uh, not to mention, for those that are familiar with the Oasis class, of course the Aqua Theater shows, which have Olympic synchronized swimmers and divers and aerialists and acrobats. Yeah. Um, it's normally outside on the back of the ship. Right. They moved it inside on the icon. They class. did. So no matter what the weather, it's, it's raining outside or whatnot, you are having this another phenomenal stage of entertainment. Yeah. Uh, besides the ice skating show, besides Wizard of Oz. I know. We're going to see that tonight. Whole Broadway production. We're seeing that tonight. Yes. It's and I will say this is the first time. So you are going to experience it for the first time in front of other than employees, you are all the first audience to see The Wizard of Oz on the Icon of the Seas. The full production. So, very, very cool. I'm so very exciting. cool. And we saw the ice show last night? My God. I know, right? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I didn't understand it, but it was beautiful. Okay, so we have... Yeah, I was going to say, Rebecca, if you can feed questions. Get rid of that one. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there we go. Oh, just press and hold. So, and if you see any uh, questions, so folks, I, I can't, uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, uh, if you see any questions uh, pop up for Kathy and all of that. Oh, I saw one that says, can you ice skate? So yes, you can. You can ice yes. skate and it is complimentary. It is complimentary. People are still doubting their lives and they think it's a green screen. Yeah, uh, uh, everybody thinks That's this is a green screen, which is crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, the stuff behind us? Yeah. It's not a green screen, everybody. We are on live from the icon from of the, the seas. Icon of the seas. <laughs> I know, it's absolutely crazy. Um, but, uh, and by the way, Kathy, the one who suggested it. So right in front of us is the Ryan Bean, which is your coffee and bar and all of this. And I think you uh, picked a great spot. This is a good spot. This, this is a great spot. Not Harmony of the Seas, people. This oh, is not Harmony, not of, the harmony seas. of the Seas. This is Icon of the Seas. One more letter. Yes. <laughs> and on. there's actually, um, of course, you got Icon that's coming into my, of course, doing seven night round trip out of Miami. Miami. Seven night Eastern Caribbean itineraries with a stop at Perfect Day. Seven right. night Western Caribbean itineraries with a stop at Perfect Day. Right. But you have the sister ship coming in the summer of 2025 called the Star of the Seas, which will be Icon number two, um, coming to Port Canaveral. So you wow. have this beautiful ship out of Miami, and mm -hmm. then you'll have the brand new Star of the Seas coming in July of 2025, right. coming to Port Canaveral. And you just started Icon 3. Yes, we did. We just had the steel cutting ceremony I know. for Icon 3. So Icon 3, everyone, is already underway. So you can just whisper to me, where is that ship going to sail from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't told me. I'm a, you know, I am a strategic account manager in sales, so I don't think I'm privy to that information. <laughs> so, you know, a, a lot of you folks say, you know, why should I book through a travel advisor? I think this is actually a great example. So when uh, when you call uh, Royal Caribbean, they have great people at the 1-800 number that answer and book you and all of that. Right. But when you talk to me, and we we want to make we want to do something special for you guys, or maybe we have some issues we need to work out. I call Kathy right. and her team. And here's another thing, though, too. They, you know, Royal Caribbean, of course, you can call Royal Caribbean, but you're never going to get some of the group pricing yeah. that your agency has right. held. Yeah. And that is a difference in pricing, as well as extra amenities like onboard credit, specialty mm -hmm. dining, which is a yeah. President's Circle offer, yeah. strictly through your agency. So you're not going to get that by calling us direct. You're no. going to get that by contacting you. Because we can't do that. And, and here's another thing, though, too. You also have what's called travel agent family and friends. Mm -hmm. Now, you can sell them to people that are not your family and friends. Yeah. But you can't call Royal Caribbean Direct and get that pricing. You have to book it through a travel advisor, right. uh, which is the reason why we call them travel agent friends and family rates because mm -hmm. they can't call us direct and get them yeah. because we don't have access to that. No. You gotta call this guy. So you gotta call me. Yes. No. So uh, have you played with Rover yet? That's, that's kind of like have. a big question. Yeah. Okay. So we were able to. I was very lucky. So I've been with this company for 15 years. Okay. Um, and my daughters, age 13 and 17. We were able to do what we call the employee shakedown. So I've never been able to bring my kids on board oh an employee shakedown cruise until the icon of the sea. So we actually came on 
last Saturday, this past Saturday, so about a week ago, okay. um, over a week ago, and we came on for three nights, every single one of my family. I got to get a picture with Grover, my daughter Kirsten got to get a picture Aww. with Grover, and my youngest daughter Kier got a picture Aww. with Grover. And I will say, so she is only six months, she has a chief dog officer handler, her name is Allison, she's Aww. from Australia, um, and that is her job, is to take care of Grover, and she's six months, and she's so well trained. But taking pictures with everybody, and, and actually it's a phenomenal addition to our staff on board because they now also have access to Grover. So it's also for the health and well-being of our crew, as well as of course our passengers on board, to be able to have that extra Oh. Um, what do you call it? Uh, like, yeah. being a furry uh, yeah. animal friend. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Our fur, fur family. So, <laughs> yes. I saw somebody commented that uh, your husband would love to come on the icon, but you're kind of scared of the size. I mean, so think of this at, at the hotel. Like, if you go to a hotel or a resort and you're okay going into a hotel or a resort, this is just on the water. And it, I mean, I. Actually, it's one of the safest ways to vacation is on yeah. a cruise. Um, everything from security to lifeguards to... Um, lifeguards at every Oh, pool. just everything. And again, when you look at the value of you being able to have access to entertainment, mm -hmm. your meals, a spa, mm -hmm. a casino, everything you would normally get on a vacation is in one spot. And I think because... I mean, that's the reason why we're coming out with an Icon 2 with Star this right. season, an Icon 3 is because the demand is growing for crews yeah. because I can go to a land-based vacation and not get anywhere near the service, yeah. the quality of food, the entertainment, the options for people of all ages. Right. You exactly. can't find that anywhere else. No, not, not in one place. No, and, and that, we've been doing this for 55 years this year. Royal wow. Caribbean turns 55, everyone, and we have 27 years. ships that's for amazing. you to choose from. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. And that, that's what drew me to cruising. You don't have to get into a car. You don't have to go anywhere. Like we saw an ice show last night. We went to dinner. Walked. You're going to see Wizard of Oz, the full Broadway show tonight. today. Yeah, without leaving the ship. And all I have to do is walk back to my room at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. You know? Um, Beautiful amenities, um, yeah. well appointed state rooms, the service between your room steward, the oh. wait staff, tons of dining options. Tons of dining. <laughs> if you have any sort of allergies, gluten free, um, you know, we have people that have come on with, with certain special needs, uh, accessible yeah. needs. So think about that for your next family vacation. Easy to get around. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first time we've ever actually had the uh, the difference in elevators. Oh yeah. Where it's and three escalators? times faster and escalators getting people on and off the uh, ship yeah. as far as going when you pull into port. Yeah, really nice. So somebody asked a great question. How is it uh, for ADA, for people getting around? I will say on our ship tour, one of the rooms that we toured was an accessible, accessible balcony, and uh, your, your gentleman who was in there uh, uh, was in a wheelchair, and I asked him, I said, what do you think of this room? And the big thing they pointed out was the bed is lower, yeah. and he said, I can actually get in and out of this bed, no problem. And then getting around the ship, these are the biggest elevators I've ever yes, seen. Yes, yes. It big, is, wide all area. of our ships are ADA accessible. Mm -hmm. And we have staterooms that are accessible in all different cabin categories, mm -hmm. whether it is an interior, which is the least expensive, right. up to our suites. Mm -hmm. uh, we even have suites that have a lift because it's a two-story oh, wow. suite, so you can actually get in the lift to get up to the bedroom uh, as well as the bathroom, but it's all That's ADA amazing. accessible. That is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Now keep in mind, too, that Tomorrow we're pulling into Perfect Day. At Coco I Cay. know we are. And speaking of accessible, we actually have accessible. Uh, you've got the wheelchairs that are this uh, mm, beach mm -hmm. wheelchairs. Yeah. Complimentary. Uh, where of course we have pavers all throughout the island, taking you to the thrill side of the island, the chill yeah. side of the island. But the beach wheelchairs are something that is very good because a lot of people that are in chairs cannot get off the pavers unless they have right. one of those sand yeah. wheelchairs. Right. And those are accessible. Those are available to all of our people that have accessible needs, That's and there are plenty of them. And there's something brand new at Coco Cay that we're going to see yes. tomorrow. Yes. 
It's called you've Hideaway been there. Beach. Yeah, so uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay made its debut back in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really when it became Perfect Day because we yeah. Royal Caribbean's had Coco Cay for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we added the the pier, so you no longer have to tender. Oh, to that's from the, the best. Ship, that's the best. Which I will say, some other islands you still have to tender. So this is you something will. that's huge when it comes to our product, including an island that's island. literally right next door. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've been we've been on that that other one that we can't come in because the tenders. <laughs> can't come in and we're like but Royal Caribbean is pulling in right there exactly. so yeah the, the, exactly. the beer makes a big deal people yeah. I know sometimes especially when you're looking at rough weather a lot of those tenders cannot get into their private they island when they have rough weather and having a dock has changed things completely huge, huge. Uh, so we have that both at Labadee which is our private island mm -hmm. as well as of course uh, perfect day at Coco Cay but the new addition you're talking the new about addition is called Hideaway Beach yeah. it is yeah. a new adult only 18 years and up beautiful beach your pool infinity pool they have cabanas with like private pools out in front restaurants bar venues new cuisine and handcrafted cocktails oh you got and, me handcrafted cocktails uh-huh so you have to make sure that if you are 18 years and up and you're looking for that south beach party vibe um this is going to be something that i think is really going to speak to those that are 18 years and up because they can only they have to be adult only in order to get there yeah to, yes, that, to that section of the island because there's plenty of other places that people that have children or grandchildren yep. that you can go to. We have two complimentary water parks mm -hmm. uh, for the little kiddos called yep. Captain Jill's Galleon and Splashaway Bay. Oh, then we the have name. the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean with a swim up bar and that's called Oasis Lagoon. That's also yeah. complimentary for you to get to. Mm -hmm. Eateries, five different snack shacks, hand pressed burgers, funnel cakes. Food is amazing. Food, there's a lot of food on that island. Yes, yeah. there is. Yes, and then, it, is. you know, if you don't want Hideaway Beach, there's the Cocoa Beach Club, which is a more chill vibe with yes. uh, with the pool and all that, a restaurant. And yes, everything. so Cocoa Beach Club is actually our more upscale experience. So it's something you'd have to book as far as once you get a booking number, it does sell out quickly. So once you get a booking number, you check through the pre cruise planner. But they have overwater cabanas mm -hmm. with your own butler that rides on a bike <laughs> yes, on these I've seen them. <laughs> docks that are coming out to your little overwalk I mean, it's got yes. a slide that goes into the water yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um lots of amenities as far as that goes but that place also serves filet and lobster nice it's own beautiful oh, yeah. infinity pool uh it. as far as being able to look out over the beach and uh, but again it's a very a very high-end experience so if you're looking to celebrate something special or just really have that high-end experience and touch points you'd want coco beach club so uh somebody is asking is uh, hideaway beach complimentary Hideaway Beach is not complimentary. Here's the reason why. Number one, it's 18 years and up. Mm -hmm. It only fits a certain amount of capacity. Right. I think it's not even 2,000 people. So right. you do have to get an entrance, but once you get that pre-cruise ticket, um, I, th I know it's dynamic pricing, so based off of when you're right. sailing and when you're pulling into Perfect Day, right. if there's another ship, because right. we only can fit a maximum of two ships into Perfect Day at one time. Uh, so if there's a lot of demand, we have to manage that demand, and that's the reason why there is a ticket that you'd have to reserve ahead mm -hmm. of time in order to get in there, but very affordable. Yeah. Yeah. And again, w you know, one of the nice things about Royal Caribbean, too, is that when you pull into our private islands, mm -hmm. whether it's Perfect Day at Coco Cay or Labadee, okay. if you buy the all-inclusive beverage package with Royal Caribbean, it works on, on island. our private islands. That's not the case with other companies. With certain companies, yes. Mm -hmm. Tommy's here now. Look at that. <gasps> Tommy, get over here. Tommy. So, Tommy, okay. okay. Tommy, can you just get in between Come on us. over here. There we go. This is Tommy. So, who's Tommy? Tommy, I got this inside support. I, I apologize for my voice. You lost your voice, honey. Lost my first on the, on the first day. Uh, oh my the ship is so iconic it's, that he lost his voice it the is, first day. It is, it is. You know, talking to a lot of travel agents. Yes. Um, you know, explain. I'm, I'm located up in Cross. We ask a lot of edge. questions. You know. It's, yes. It's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. Enjoying yes. it. Uh, it's beautiful ship. Beautiful yeah. ship. So. Yes. So Tommy is, um, he actually supports me when I'm in the field. Uh, he yeah. is what they call a business development specialist, which, again, not all companies have. We have the largest sales force when it comes to a cruise company Huge. out there. Huge. And the fact that we value our trade partners, which is, of course, you, um, 
You not have just two me. of us. There's a lot of me. Yes, out there, a lot yeah. of you. But but Tommy is just mine. He only works with me. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes you incredibly special. I love Tommy. <laughs> okay. So Tommy is in Miami. He works at uh, Miami headquarters, and I am actually the strategic account manager in Ohio, uh, supporting all of our travel partners uh, with my agencies. And of course, you are one of those. Yay! So, yeah, he, he basically so gets two of us working for him. Yes. I know. Yes. I, and then everybody else behind the scenes is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I, I will say, Teamwork. you know, we, we, you know I, uh, Where's Walter Travel is part of KHM Travel Group. I've talked about that before. Kathy is an amazing supporter of KHM Travel Group and all the agents in there. And this is, this is why, this one reason why I love being a travel agent is that I can bring you these connections and... I'm not talking to just a call center. The call centers are lovely. They're, they're great people. But I've got Tommy and Kathy uh -huh. in my corner. And That's you're not going to get that sort of support and service by booking direct. Yeah. So. yeah. And again, I talked, about, I talked about the group pricing, the added amenities, specialty dining. That is because you are with KHM Travel Group mm -hmm. to be able to have that sort of partnership um, and some benefits by having people calling you direct. Yeah. You, not us. Even though, again, you're just not going to get the sort of things that you have to offer. And that's me being honest. I have a travel agent myself. I've booked and forth through for years. But, wow. Um, but that's where you always want to make sure. And you're also supporting a local business. You which are. Which is huge. It's just me and Rebecca. Rebecca's sitting off camera because uh, mm -hmm. that, that's what she does. <laughs> she sits off camera. Uh, and by the way, for the folks who are saying you're going to see them on uh, on a future sailing, you're not. They're just here for the previews. Yes. And then they have, unfortunately, they have to go back to their offices yeah. in Miami. Yes. Well, he's going back to Miami. Oh. I'm going back to the snow in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I know um, Tommy, what is your, uh, Tommy also has duties today as well. Uh, we actually have uh, staterooms open for viewing. I think it's what, 26 staterooms yes. for our travel partners to be able to tour and That's take great. pictures and video, which of course I know you've been doing. I've been, been doing. Non -stop. I'm going to the ultimate family town home today. Awesome. So what is your station today, Tommy? Uh, my station, I'm located at Crown's Edge. So Ooh, oh, Crown's Edge. Are you, tonight. are you doing it tonight? 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, my goodness. It's a trip. It's a trip. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So Are you excited? I stand and watch everyone do it. A couple of people do it all day. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. It was, you know, a thrill. It's a thrill. Wow. It it's is a thrill. thrill. I'm going to have to sit in the back of the theater because we're going to Wizard of Oz at 8.15. I got 10 o'clock. I'm going to have to. They said, be here 15 yes. minutes early. I'm going to dash. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You'll be dashing. You can sleep when you get home. Yeah. Uh, I was up till 2 o'clock this morning. So, I mean, come on. I don't, that's what I said. Give me some Red Bull. Actually, if you want to stay up at night, people, go to the uh, the Pearl Cafe and ask for a double espresso macchiato. Really? That did it at 11 o'clock at night. Really? That did it. Yeah, see, this, this, is, this is the size one. of it. Boy, Good. did that put me over the top. Good yeah. information. Yeah. Because yeah. I need to make it to the silent disco. See that? <laughs> yes. See? I and love the silent she knows, disco. If you do see Kathy on the ship, ask her where to party. You know, it's funny. There are there there there's an adult cruise line out there, and people go, "I really don't want to go on there because you know I don't I don't want to be on a party ship." I'll tell you what. Last night, this place was rocking. It was boleros, rocking. Dueling pianos, holy crap! Dueling pianos what was a great standing addition. room only. Standing room only, and then Lou's down in Central Park. Oh my god! If you want God, jazz music. music, it's amazing. So and I will say, when I was looking at the, the so the cruise compass, of course, is your daily newspaper. Right. It's also on the Royal Caribbean app. The amount of live entertainment that was still going on at 12.15 a.m. I heard them. They were just starting it. But again, this was like maybe their third time doing acts yeah. between the dueling pianos, the jazz music. So good. The amount of live entertainment that is on this ship is un... There's nothing else out there like it. No, and keep in mind, you know, that is all included, right? So mm -hmm. so when you, when you look at the prices of the cruises, what you have to keep in mind is what are you getting right. for your dollar? You're, you're not going to get that on land. No, <laughs> not to mention convenience. Like you said, you, when you get tired, you don't yeah. have to worry about getting back in your car. Or no. let's say you have a couple of those, maybe espresso martinis. Oh, there you go. And you don't want to get in your car and drive exactly. home because yeah. Yeah. this way you can actually just go back to your stateroom. Yeah. Everything is here. So I, I really do encourage many of you, if you have never cruised before, to try maybe even a short one, three or four nights before they get on the icon. But the icon is... The You're icon. gonna be starting off at the creme de la creme. Fun. There are some people. <laughs> it'll be it'll people be going who backwards from there. Be their first cruise. I'm like, oh my god. <gasps> On the icon. On the icon, yeah. If you. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna be spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Spoiled, spoiled rotten. rotten. But don't get yeah. don't forget, there's 26 other ships to choose from if you feel that you want to start off with something different. Uh, but of course, we got phenomenal ships doing three and four nights. Now we've never right. had the big Utopia's ships doing coming. three and four nights. Utopia is coming Ooh. in July. 
with the pesky parrot. Yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. Because so, I love the bamboo bar. It's probably still my favorite bar. I love all the bars, but that bamboo bar in the yeah. Voyager class. Mm -hmm. Love the bamboo bar and the pesky parrot. It's going to be a big version of it. Right, that. because it's a Caribbean meant ship as far as going to the Bahamas and our private island. So, of course, it's going to have a very good island theme. Yes. And what better way to do that than a bar that is dedicated to a Caribbean theme called oh, the pesky man. parrot? I'm telling you, Kathy, you've got to get it on a previous sailing. I want to come see it. Utopia. Utopia. They haven't announced as far as when we're doing the inaugurals yet, but we're waiting know, on news. I know, I know. Ah, I tell you folks, you've got to come, you know, you can look at the rendering, you can look at the video, you can watch all my videos, but none of it does it justice. I mean, literally none of it does it justice until you actually stand right. here and see that. And I'll tell you what, when I first came in, I did what probably most people do. You see the aqua theater, you'd look around and go, ah, and you leave. It's like, don't leave. Walk in front don't of the Aqua leave. Theater. You gotta go all the way around go to the here, front of the ship, and, and then, you have this beautiful encased five star. Uh, and you leave. And it's like, don't leave. Walk in front don't of the Aqua leave. Theater. You gotta go all the way around go to the here, front of the ship, and, and then, you have this beautiful encased five star. A humongous boom box and <laughs> water. Was. Extra was. speakers. It was amazing. Shaking Miami. Uh, 6.45 in the morning yes. in, in the middle of Miami. Uh, so so we, happen, we happened to be on another cruise ship that docked just before she came in. So, of course, oh, we stayed on the ship. Did you end up getting footage on that? Yeah. We, I thought we, we so. We streamed it yes, live. You yes, did. We were in the turning basin. That's right. And, yes, it was the largest boom box in the world that came cruising in because our ship tried to start a hitches. It was right. And then the whole crew I was pink up on there. the top. Oh, yeah. it was 2,000 crew on, the, on board the ship in pink. Yeah. And then, of course, all of our shoreside employees right there welcoming mm -hmm. the crew. So it was very emotional for a lot of it people. It was. It was. Yeah. And if you want to see a ton of great stuff on the Icon of the Seas, you have two amazing bloggers in your in your crew. Erica from America, yes. who we met. Yes. And uh, Chris Wong. Uh, Chris Wong vlogs and Erica from America. Now, Erica, it's kind of funny. We had gone on the Mariner of the Seas, uh -huh. and the following week we went to see The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. She was in line with us, and we ended up sitting with her and her friend. And now I've watched her turn into this amazing, not only crew member, but right. amazing blogger. Yes. So if you want to see tons of stuff about the Icon of the Seas, check out both Erica of them. from America. Yeah, Erica from America, and then also Chris Wong's been doing a lot of stuff too. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, wow. Tommy, what, you have to go to uh, Crown's uh, Edge. I'll be yeah, at you Crown's gotta Edge go. You probably need to get some food. Gotta grab a bite. And, okay. and how many, like 20 plus different dining venues. So yes. uh, go grab some food and we'll see you at Crown's Edge. Awesome. Yay. Hey, man. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for stopping me. by. Of course. Yeah, have will a see great you later. day. <laughs> yay, yay. Rebecca, any, any uh, additional questions that we should be answering? Because I know we're just chatting away and I have not been really paying attention. Oh, you got Getting. someone that says Erica is great. Yeah. Yes, Erica is the best. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, are, are we stopping in Jamaica at all with any of the uh, itineraries? The Western Caribbean does not include Falmouth, Jamaica on this cruise, but we do have other ships that are doing that. Okay. Um, are there, oh, are there golf simulators? Golf simulators, no, not on this ship. So. Not, not on, on this, this ship. ship. Now we have flow riders, you have ice skating. Uh, you can do kneeboard, you can do, um, I know in some of our ships you of course have the zip line. Of course. We have rock climbing walls. Well, we have Crown's Edge on this one. Which is Crown's Edge on this one, which again, you're going to be a, uh, a little guinea pig. So make sure you stay Wait, tuned Wait, I'm a guinea earlier. pig? Yeah. Really? Actually, I, I did still it working too. On it? I did it too, and I will say though that that, I love thrills because I come from Ohio and there's yeah. a phenomenal amusement park in there's Ohio called phenomenal. Cedar Point. Which is what Best we consider roller the roller coaster ever. of America. Oh my God. Um, and the fact that this actually had my knees knocking because we were pulling out of Miami and we were seeing all the buildings and you are, when you step out <laughs> over that water, you're looking down, you got waves down below and you're walking the plank and then when you don't realize it, the floor drops out beneath you and then it swings you back into yeah. the ship. You hear what she said? It's you're amazing. walking the plank. Walking you actually the get plank. to walk the plank on a ship if you yes. ever wanted to do that. You will be walking the plank. Oh, that's that's a, that's a great question. And by the way, she left out the 19 water slides. So you've got 19 water slides to hang out on. Yes. Uh, uh, best thing for teens. What would you recommend for teens? Oh my gosh, they have a teen club. Yes. Their own, like, it's like a speakeasy. They got all age appropriate activities. Like I said, I have two daughters, 13 and 17, and they love the Adventure Ocean, which is basically that starts off at six months up to 17 years, but the mm -hmm. teen club is specific to them, their own separate spot. Wow. We, of course, have the Adventure Ocean uh, teen counselors that mm -hmm. have guided activities, everything from mocktails to their own dance parties to movies to wow. all sorts of technology and games. And 
Uh, I will say that that's probably one of the best things about the Royal Caribbean product is that no matter how old your children or grandchildren are, there is something for them to do. And we also have people on our ships that don't necessarily want to see children. <laughs> and they have a phenomenal time as well because we have our adult only areas as well as even the comedy club, which is 18 years and up as far as later yeah, in the evening. Exactly. Um, so there's lots of activity that you can pick and choose from. So everybody gets out of yeah. their vacation what they want. They do. They do. You're it. not going to get that on other products no. or other vacation options, right? Not like this. No. Not like this. No. And if you've been looking for an adult-only area that has like an actual like big pool, this is it because you have the hideaway yes. in the back. With you that. got you got footage of that? Did you show them? I, I have footage of it. Okay. Yeah. And and you have that crazy first of its kind suspended infinity pool 65 feet up in the air an infinity pool that has the best views of the ocean because it's on the very back of the ship it's got its own bar area yeah. off to left its own dj tons of beautiful uh seating back there if you want to sunbathe there's a couple of hot tubs back there shower the pool which Again, it kind of reminds me of a South Beach it's very much, trendy hotel, yeah. and it's on a cruise ship. It does. And it's all included as part of their vacation. But I, I've been telling you Handcrafted folks. cocktails, signature oh, cocktails. Yeah. Have, have you done the whole bar crawl? The I ship have yet? not done the bar crawl yet. Because all the bars Maybe on this ship. We should do that. You seem very experienced with hand, the bars. I've actually <laughs> seen, not me, I gotta work, but I have seen people enjoying the handcrafted okay. cocktails. But yeah. they're signature cocktails and they have a different menu for every bar on the ship. Yeah, that's, that, I like that. So it's almost I like, like you're going on like a scavenger hunt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to try these different drinks. There's one that's called the 1400 down in the 1400 on the Royal oh. Promenade, which I did experience last night, which oh, was kind of, nice. I did actually partake in one of those. <laughs> okay, um, good. But they have this, it, it's like a martini glass and it looks like a margarita, but it's, it's in a martini, it tastes okay. like a margarita. And they actually have smoke. And then they encapsule oh, the smoke on top that. of it with a bubble. I love that. And then you pop it, and the smoke goes everywhere, and your drink is there waiting for you. I love that. I but it's love all that. based off of the, the history of Royal Caribbean, as well as the fact that this ship project was called NB1400. Oh, that's right. So you right, got to yeah. take a look at the menus. Like, there's so many cute little things that you want to learn about so uh, when it comes cool to the ship. Um, and, question? And, I, and I will be partaking in uh, you should, in some of those drinks. Yes. Yeah. I did do the lime and coconut, though. I did try Good. that in the little bucket. That was great. Good. Uh, tips for solo travelers. So what about solo travelers coming on this okay, ship? Okay, so solo travelers on all of our ships, uh, no matter where you are throughout the world, whether it's the Caribbean, Alaska, <laughs> Europe, etc. on night one, they always have a solo mixer. Mm -hmm. So you would actually be able to meet other solo travelers on board. Um, it's actually one of the safest ways to vacation. I have actually traveled solo on Royal Caribbean before and had a phenomenal time mm -hmm. because it is a very safe environment. Um, but again, shows, entertainment, dining, but I do think that those solo mixers are very important for solo travelers, but yeah. they do that on night one on all of our ships. That's awesome. So think about a cruise if you're a solo traveler. It's a wonderful way to travel. Yeah, that's awesome. By the way, if you're all just tuning in, we are on the Icon of the Seas. You are looking at the big aqua dome. You've seen the video, you've seen the footage, that big glass dome on the front of the ship. That's exactly where we're sitting. And we are enjoying the, uh, the Ryan Bean. This is a combination coffee shop and a bar. That's one thing I do love. You have coffee everywhere on the ship. There is a lot of coffee shops. <laughs> a lot of coffee shops, and that's included. Very happy. I'm very happy about that. Um, Unless you're looking at the specialty coffees, yeah, but again, if, if you get your drink packages, the unlimited drink packages, uh, yeah. it includes your, of course, non-alcoholic drinks, your spirits, your wine, yeah. beer, as well as, of course, our specialty right. coffees hand squeezed juices but again there's lots of complimentary uh options available between right. coffee tea lemonade right. juices uh but yeah. your more high-end ones as far as like your gotcha. freshly squeezed and stuff would be part of that beverage package gotcha so uh somebody is saying that you love the crew but you're scared of getting seasick um so a couple of things one these modern ships are incredibly stable they actually have state like wings that stabilizers come out underneath the ship mm -hmm. so they are incredibly stable but uh, our dear friend Stephanie, who's gone on about a hundred cruises, uh, she can get seasick from time to time. She wears uh, the, the C bands on, on her wrist. Ginger candy is very good, ginger ale. Uh, and I've heard crew members swear by green apples as well yeah. on yes. the ship. So, and keep in mind too that there are some things that are over the counter. Like my sister mm -hmm. suffers from motion sickness as well. And mm -hmm. 
I actually got to see her, this is years ago, she actually joined me. I used to work on board ships, not on Royal Caribbean, but a different one, and we were up in Alaska, and I told her, make sure you wear those bands. She put that band on, and we actually had some pretty rough seas heading out of Seattle, on the, again, years ago, before they came out with these stabilizers, which has been a game changer for ships. Um, but I'm telling you, if I wouldn't have seen it work from night to day when she put those bands on, the, the pressure points of the bands, there's also things that you can actually put behind your ears, you as well as the non-drowsy formula right. of the like Dramamine, so or yeah. bonine, bonine or whatever from Canada is another Something. one. Yep. So there's lots of options out there. Just talk to your uh, your physician and see exactly. what would be the best option for you. But there's do not let that stop you, especially right. when you're looking at the size of these ships. Yeah. If there's, let's say if there's some white caps out there, the stabilizers. Like right I'm now. telling you, you don't even feel like we left Miami yesterday. I, I, I didn't even realize we, you don't even feel like we left Miami yesterday. I, I, I didn't even realize we were moving. No, I didn't either. We, and the wind was howling yesterday. Yes, right. And, and we've got, you know, we don't we have some, we don't a little have bit of white caps today the out there, but uh, the ship is just kind of going through. It's and, just it, and the other big and the other big thing too is if you're if you're concerned about seasickness, that one of the reasons why you work with a travel advisor, we're going to get you a, a cabin down lower on the ship. Right. So, Special placement. Yeah, that's why you notice like a lot of the entertainment things like that, they're on the low deck. A lot of the restaurants are on the low deck, but that's more stable than the higher deck. Not that it's more stable, but you feel less motion right. down low. Yeah, and, I was because we're right now on deck 15, we're on deck all 15, the way forward, and nothing. And I'm not feeling anything. I, you wouldn't even know we were moving. No. Honestly, in fact, I had some people say, are you moving? Yes, we are yes, moving. Yes, we are moving. But uh, it, it really doesn't feel feel like we are at all. Um, and somebody said it's a crawl included in the in the drink package. Yeah, basically you're just doing a bar crawl, and if you've got the unlimited drink package, right. your, your drinks are included. Yeah, so you as can well as the gratuity. That's so right. you know, whenever you are, you know, I know some people do not find the value of an all-inclusive beverage package if they only have one or two cocktails Correct. or whatever. But if you are one of those people that don't want to worry about anything at the end, as far as uh, mm -hmm. like a bill for whatever, or right. if you do like to experiment with different things, exactly, there is a value with those all-inclusive beverage packages because it's not exactly. just cocktails and spirits and beer and wine. It's also bottled water, the specialty coffees. Um, but there are a lot of things that if you're not looking to spend extra right. on top of what you pay to get on board, you don't have right. to. Right. But that's the beautiful thing about cruising is there's something for everybody based right. off of what people are looking to get out of their vacation. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and there's so many different cruise ships and experiences. Right. Like Royal Caribbean has very small ships. If this is too much for you, We've got the vision class out there. Yes, we do. That vision class. We can probably and put a lot four of those. Of them. And keep in mind too that it's yeah, we probably put four of them we on this ship. Probably four of them, right? We could probably just put them right on top of, of the ship, just sitting here. But and keep ahead. in mind too that a lot of these other smaller ships are fitting into ports that our big ships can't. So Correct. if you are looking Correct. for a smaller ship, we have that. You're still going to get the Royal Caribbean experience with the right. food, the entertainment, the onboard experience. It's just not going to have all the. Bells and whistles of these bigger uh, ships, the bigger which ships, again, right. you know, this is what we are finding out that our customers enjoy. Mm -hmm. Our guests on board absolutely love these ships, which is why we are coming out with more of them. I mean, looking at Oasis class, we are entering or getting ready, ready to welcome Utopia in July, which is our sixth, sixth ship in the Oasis, in the Oasis class. class. I know, crazy, crazy, and because and people love them far and away the most successful class, right? Ever launched, ever yeah. launched. But I think it was a game changer because back in 2009, when the Oasis class was first introduced, came out. Yeah. the Oasis class became a game changer because the ship became the destination. Right. So it's the ports of call that you get to experience. You unpack right. once, the, they do the driving while you get to sleep and you wake up at another beautiful port of call. Where else are you gonna get that? Right. Um, but as far as when it comes to having more to do on board the ships, that's what has been the game changer. Yes. And especially with the way that Royal Caribbean ships are designed and put together, there's yeah. no other ship building out there like Royal Caribbean ships. Well, no. I mean, Whether it's on this ship, the newest Icon, or the Oasis class, or Voyager, or Freedom class, Freedom class. Yeah. this kind of prices when you come on our ships. Wait, can I see that again? I'm sorry. 
I got a question here. Okay. What would you suggest about buying the drink package when only one adult drinks? So it's, you're just gonna have a couple of drinks a day. Well, how much coffee are you gonna have? Uh, do you want bottled water? How many water? spirits? Like I always yeah. say, do the math. Do the math. So one of the things that you can very easily do is, is uh, Google Royal Caribbean Bar Menu. And you can see the cost of, and you can look at the coffee menu, you can look at the bar menu, you can see the soda cost. Do the math, how much are you gonna drink every day? And if you're getting close or you're going over what the drink package is, obviously the drink package can be super easy. Right. And if you have the drink package, you might want to say, hey, I'm going to try that extra this thing, or I'm going to try that thing that, that maybe you normally wouldn't. And just the one thing about the drink package, it frees you up to say, I, I think I will go ahead and try that extra drink right. or something like and that. And keep in mind, too, everyone, if there are any medical issues out there for the guest that does not drink, you mm -hmm. have to contact your travel advisor mm -hmm. uh, because then, of course, we need to go ahead and get that uh, that commented. There's documentation that, that Royal Caribbean asks for, um, right. and then they would have to just get the refreshment package, which is the right. non-alcoholic right. version for guest number two that's not doing the drink package. So if there's a medical issue, we are, of course, going to be making exceptions for that of course. but that does need to be called in and you have to reach out to your travel advisor right great question and you're gonna love the answer to this one are there cabins that families of five can book on this ship a single cabin yes okay so here's the thing icon is completely different than our other ships anywhere throughout the world and I think this is the reason why they're calling the icon class the best family vacation in the world Mm -hmm. is because most cruise ships, including Oasis class, which is yeah. the largest class out there up to this point, yeah. is 20%, 21% of the staterooms on board an Oasis class ship, for example, can fit triples, quads, five people in a stateroom. On the Icon, it is 80% of the staterooms on board this ship can fit families. Yeah. So if you are a family of five, especially, you have got to give this ship a try because they were specifically built cabins for families. We have a whole separate That's neighborhood six. called Surfside, especially for those with young children. And we have kids sale free, not during peak time. So nope. if you can take those six and under kids out of school, you can travel anytime and take right. advantage of the kids sale free, which is gonna yep. be enough of a savings that to get you on the newest ship out there. So definitely reach out yeah. again to have that kids sale free promotion yeah. that's going on right now. But that is on the icon of the seas, as well as the new star of the seas, star of the sea. because we have inventory loaded available for sale mm -hmm. through April of 2026. I know, 2026 And people. kids sale free. So again, if you can take some of the kids out of school and not travel during peak times at Christmas, New Year's, yeah. Thanksgiving, peak summer dates, if you're flexible with your dates, yeah. I'm telling you, you've got to get your family on this ship because there is no other ship out there that has cabins or staterooms built for families like this ship as well as even the neighborhoods oh the neighborhoods are great the neighborhoods right. are as cabins or staterooms built for families like this ship as well as even the neighborhoods oh the neighborhoods are great the neighborhoods right. are great and i will tell you that if you're like trying to price things online you may not see it sale free you're going to see it in there or reach out to us no problem um i was gonna say 12 and under they have to be 12 and under at 12. the time of sailing right in order to get the kids sail free yes you know i i love i've never been on a ship where we're just kind of cruising, cruising by, by miami by by miami and all of that so yeah. if you look at us on cruise mapper you'll see that we're basically doing big lazy circles there was some great yeah. filming going on earlier yes. we had a helicopter going around. yeah we got some uh so. of course this is the first time the icon's been sailing so we got a lot of video oh, footage man. and we got models on board and we got all sorts of people that are doing Great commercial work. taping and rehearsals and like, it's a big deal. It's fun. It's it actually a big fun deal seeing here. some of the behind the scenes you know? stuff before our first guest sailing, which is January 27th. January 27th. Our, first our, sailing, official sailing. Our dear friend Ben and David and Stephanie, all three of them are going to be on oh, the ship. For the, oh, yeah. They coming. got on the first inaugural sailing. They got sailing. on the first inaugural sailing. That is going to be such a That's, big deal. That is a big deal. Of course, you got a big a deal coming big up deal. on the next one. You got you, you, No, no, the next sailing. You got a big deal coming up on the next sale. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You got, I totally you got this forgot guy. about this. I don't know what he's a ah. soccer player of some sort. Yeah, some soccer some player. Guy. What is it called? Messy. Messy. He's a very messy guy. Yeah. You have a godfather. We do have a godfather. In all the years, you again, 55 plus years of shipbuilding. 
You've never had, usually someone who christens and blesses, blesses the ship is usually a woman. Yes. Godmother of the ship. Correct. First time ever we are going to have an icon of the icon God. of the seas and that is Lionel Messi. My goodness. He is going to be coming on here to bless the ship with the naming ceremony on January 23rd. So we are oh. super excited about that. And you're going to be here? You're I am going to be here. I actually still need to work. I got to do one more when you get off. Yeah. I got to do one more three night inaugural sailing with our travel partners and media and investors coming on as well as the naming ceremony with um, Lionel Messi. So any chance we can kind of stay on the ship for yeah, a Yeah, you might want to maybe try to stow yourself into one of those. Um, can I do that? Can maybe one of the uh, can, little tenders. Can we just hide in your room for the day until the ship starts sailing and then, <laughs> oopsie. No, I'm just kidding. I wish we could. I, three nights is not enough. All y'all coming on here for seven nights, that's not even going to be enough to see everything. Y'all are going to be just having an amazing time. Kathy, I know I've kept you here. I'm thankful for you to come Thank by. Thank you so much for having me.